Yo, this is NX Wizard. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to Top 15 Scary Apps You Should Never Download. Now, before we start, I want to give a great shout out to Top 15s. They make great Top 15 videos. I recommend checking them out in the link in the description in this video. Let's get it in. Number 15 Creepy. When an app is literally named Creepy, you should probably think twice about downloading it. The developers of this app term it a geolocation information aggregator. In other words, it allows you to locate your person of interest. I know, not creepy at all. Who can you locate? Say you got into a fight over Twitter. Well, this app enables you to track down where your Twitter nemesis tweeted from, giving you an opportunity to go confront them in person. Are you following someone on Flickr and you'd really love to follow them around in reality? This app also allows users to track where Flickr accounts have uploaded pics. Simply enter your target's Flickr username or Twitter handle and the locations of their activity will be all laid out for you in Google Maps. Super easy access to every one of their last known locations. This works because smartphones often track where and when a user tweets or uploads their images to the internet using a geolocation tag. Likely to dodge any controversy or criticism over the app, Creepy's developers named it thusly to note that it is, in fact, creepy that it's so easy to locate Twitter and Flickr users via simple technology by using these geolocation tags. Number four. Wait, so you can track people to by looking up their YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Holy crap. This website. Do not go there, guys, okay? 14. Please, Spy camera don't. phone. Designed for creeps, this app allows users to take pics of unsuspecting subjects without their knowledge. How? Most phone cameras have a shutter noise, making everyone in the vicinity aware that you're snapping their photo. And if you're looking over your shoulder, they can clearly see that you're taking someone's picture like a creeper. But spy camera phone is absent of shutter noise, meaning uh -uh. you're alerting those around you to your spyful ways. It also allows you to hide the camera behind other apps, enabling you to photograph without anyone's knowledge. The app description also notes that Spy Camera OS is able to run in the background, allowing you to run any other app, for example a browser, while still capturing image or video in the background. It will even work if you turn the screen off. While it's branded as a simple app to capture your perfect candid moment, it seems that most users are capturing the perfect candid moments of perfect strangers without their knowledge. Everyday spying just got a whole lot creepier. Don't ever do this, okay guys? I can find this perverted once they use that app. I, I, I'm I, just saying, I can find this really gross. Number 13, on the rebound. Do you have a Facebook friend who you've been keeping track of for years? One whose relationship status sometimes switched over to single, only to be taken before you get your foot in the door. Well, On The Rebound is an app that will put all that stalking to good use. This app looks into your Facebook friend list and analyzes their data over six years, including past and present relationship statuses, giving each of your friends a score on their rebound potential and allowing users to decide who to target as potential dating material. The data it analyzes includes how often your Facebook friends have started a new relationship, the duration of each relationship, and how long they've been single. Of course, this is all based on what a user posts. If the friend you're stalking doesn't update their relationship status, or provide any other data about their relationship or non-relationship on their page, then the app is useless. The app doesn't just tell you who is on the verge of being available, it also tells you how to hook them. On the Rebound provides tips and tricks to Facebook stalkers regarding how to hit on potential mates, all based on their Rebound potential score. While this may sound a bit freaky to most of us Facebook users, the app's co-founder, Anthony Coombs, defends On the Rebound, 
saying that the creators just made it easier to do what we do in our everyday lives. Does that make the app seem less creepy? I'm gonna say no. Number 12. The Demonic Kids app plays in the Monster Machines, oh, no. a classic kids TV show, right? How? Okay, now the app icon looks fake. I'm just gonna say that. Expected app entitled the same to be one that follows a similar storyline. The app would assume it leads. Wait a minute, call Blaze and the Monster? Who? What? Are you kidding me? Are those are some people that stupid? Go on an adventure with the Sunny Monster Truck team. No parental control issues there. What you wouldn't expect is for a demon to speak out from the app, saying he's going to stab your children. But that's what British parents got when they downloaded the Call Blaze and Monster Machines 2018 app. One mother, Donna Lisley, uploaded a video of the frightening incident on Facebook. Donna described what had happened. Her daughter had just completed a matching game. And as a treat, Blaze called her. This Blaze, however, is not the Blaze kids are familiar with. Is it this knife in my whirly turly hands? Making you a little nervous, huh? That's all right, cause this knife is gonna improve your look when it's sticking right out of you. After greeting- Boy! Oh my god. Gosh, that's why you don't trust any app around the internet. In the children, in he introduced store, himself I mean. as their new friend, Happy Slappy. The creepy voice adds that he wants to play and, in his own words, perform some fun games together. Then, realizing that the kid is probably holding the phone at arm's length, Happy Slappy notes that they look scared and suggests that perhaps it's the knife in his whirly twirly hands that's making them nervous. Finally, the breaking point. Happy Slappy says, that's all right, cause this knife is gonna improve your look when it's sticking right out of you. Donna's four-year-old daughter was mortified and heartbroken. According to Donna, and other kids who downloaded the app had nightmares after hearing the chilling voice. After Donna reported the app, it was removed by Google, but nothing Good. has changed about the content rating system. Number 11. Wow. Imagine um, if you were a parent and your kid played that app. What would you do? What I would do is I'd throw the phone out the window. In. Yep. Kick on. If you're a loner who suddenly wants to throw a party, then this app can help you out. The thing is, everyone who comes to your party will be a stranger. Yep, this is Tinder for groups, and this app is targeted at kids 13 and up. Created by Charlie Stewart, some Aussie who used to be an investment banker, Kick On allows users to scan different parties and decide which stranger's home they'd like to invite themselves into that night. Not scary at all. Users are shown a photograph and a party description, and just like with Tinder, they can swipe left to discard the party or swipe right to request the address. Judging by your own profile pic, the party host can decide whether you're cool enough to join or they can rescind your invitation. If you do make the list, you can rate and review the party afterwards. That is, if you make it out alive, Sounds as safe as being dropped ah. into a Psycho's Dungeon birthday bash. Number 10. Big Guys, I'm like laughing on the outside, but also scared on the inside. Brother camera security. So oh, you lost come on. your iPhone, or worse, it's stolen. Wouldn't it be great to catch the thief in the act? That's what Big Brother camera security was purportedly created to do. The app allowed users to photograph whoever took their phone remotely without them even knowing it. Sounds great, right? Well, it turns out that Big Brother Camera Security's developers were actually being more than a little spot on with that title. The Big Brother developers were accused of surreptitiously harvesting user passwords in June of 2010. Sounds like they overstepped some boundaries and became a little too Big Brother themselves. This is clearly an app you want on your do not download list. Luckily, the app has already been removed from the Apple Store. 
At Good. least this is one. Do not download. We don't have to worry about number nine, Spy Z. This app is unapologetically big brothery. It's designed oh, no. to monitor activity on a person's smartphone. That I like the word big brothery. It kind of scares me a little. App's description reads, If you want to keep your children safe from the dangers they're exposed to on their smartphones, or if you want to monitor the smartphones used by your employees, among many other possibilities, then this app is perfect for you. We recommend that it's used responsibly, since with this app, you can access all the information on a person's smartphone. I'd hate to be the employee or the child of anyone who thinks Spicy is a good idea, and I'm guessing it's not always used responsibly. In fact, it seems like a great way to stalk just about anyone, including your spouse. Phone and the numbers. worst thing about it is that the other person will likely never know the spying app has been installed on their device because after it's been installed, it hides itself. The app's developers say that the connection won't break under any circumstances and they suggest getting the permission of the user before installing. But my guess is that someone who is installing monitoring devices on another person's phone doesn't have boundaries. What does the app monitor? The phone's location, call log, messages, browser history, photos. You know pretty much the user's entire activity. Scary and an absolute breach of privacy. Number 8. Wow. Girls around me. Are you a creepy man wanting to know where all the ladies are on a Friday <laughs> night? Well, this app was made for you, aptly named Girls Around Me. The geolocation app was designed to help the lonely men in your neighborhood stalk girls from afar. The app prov I could also find this perverted. Provided personal info of only girls in the user's vicinity. <laughs> you heard that correctly. No longer must a guy ask for a girl's number and allow the lady an opportunity to give them a fake. This app simply gives the real number to them. Oh. Fake. This app simply gives the real number to them. Thankfully, the controversial app was dropped from the iOS app store. The website Cult of Mac might be entirely to thank for this, as their original report drove plenty of controversy about girls around me. So much so that Foursquare took away the app's API access, saying it violated the terms of its API policies and that they would no longer support it without the API. The app was unusable. iFree, the app's developer, pulled the app, but they stated that its use was never to intentionally violate anyone's privacy and it doesn't reveal any information that you couldn't find on individuals' social media accounts. Instead, it was designed to allow users to find popular hotspots and take a virtual look into the window to see who is hanging there. The problem is, those girls around likely don't want any part of this. Nice try, developers. Number 7. White Why does he sound neighbors. like that? Oh no. Most people know what the white pages are. Here's a little refresher. According to its website, it's the largest and most trusted online directory with contact information and public records of over 90% of US adults. The public records search company provides free information about people, just a hint in order to whet a searcher's appetite. For those stalker types who aren't satisfied with that hint, White Pages then offers a more in-depth look at individual email addresses, criminal records, and addresses. the like. But this bit of extra comes at a price. The White Pages Neighbors app goes even further. The app provides a bird's eye view of neighborhood homes, allowing the user to see names, phone numbers, and mailing addresses of everyone in the neighborhood. While most of this stuff is public record, the app is nevertheless creepy, as you can view all of this personal information in one place at the top of a finger. And like this site, the app pushes its sales by suggesting that you contact your neighbors and invite them for a block party ah, using do the that. app's own invite streamlining system. Even better. Users can claim their listing on white pages in order to correct it if certain info is wrong. Why anyone would want to do that, I'm not sure. I'd prefer the stalkers of the world to be at a loss. He sounds Number like a robot. Six, like Creeper. 
Radiohead's fame lyrics, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo, should be revamped as the jingle for this app. Like Creeper is an app intentionally designed to creep your social media friends and acquaintances the heck out. If you've ever Facebook stalked someone and accidentally liked pics or statuses what? from a while back, then you know that horrible lurch in your stomach, you've alerted the target to the fact that you're stalking them. Wait, 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 all you need to do is pass on your Instagram account info to Like Creeper, and the app will like a photo from one of your target's earliest photos. This way, they'll think you've taken a special interest in them, a special enough interest to stalk their entire history like a super creep. Oh. If you enjoy creeping people out, download this freaky app. If not, <laughs> it's probably best to keep your actually stalking tendencies under wraps. Number five. Yep. Silent camera, similar to spy cam, this so-called silent camera app allows creeps to take pictures of strangers on a whim, and many are doing so, as the app has been used by numerous creeps on public transport, taking shots of women, often unwelcome shots. In Japan, it became such a privacy issue that, according to iCrack.com, Device manufacturers have disabled the ability to silence a camera shutter sound in an effort to alert women to potential perverts. But guess what? The app's creators have added an override capability to silence the shutter sound anyway, allowing what? stalkers, peeping toms, and regular disgusting people to continue in their voyeuristic ways. Just plain weird. Number four, yeah. spirit board. Never do that. If you've ever messed with a Ouija board in real life, then you know that this app is something you probably shouldn't download. Are the spirit board me? app is a digital Ouija board that claims to listen to a user's voice. Simply ask the spirit on the other end a question, and the spirit board will answer. Merely talking to a spirit may not be very scary, but there's always the potential that you might make a spirit angry. For instance, if you are impolite or ask a question the spirit isn't keen on, in that case, per the game's instructions, you should move the planchette quickly to say goodbye. If you don't do it before the app's countdown finishes, the app warns that something sinister might happen to you. And according to some of the Apple Store reviews, That's fake. sinister things have happened. Elijah Pierce wrote of his experience, saying the spirit board told him that a girl named Carol was with him, and she ordered him to make it stop. The user had just finished watching the movie It. When he asked about what she meant, she answered, the clown. And when he asked where the clown was, Carol said, behind you, outside, front door. The user then looked outside now that's the creepy. door, and he claims to have seen a shadowy figure with big hair, yellow eyes, and a white smile. In the user's own words, I tried to say goodbye once more, and before I could say goodbye, the pentagram went halfway across my screen and said, open the door. I hear a knock and my phone glitched out. There are plenty of other scary encounters highlighted in the Apple review section. So if you're thinking of downloading this app, despite our warning, take care to read through others' alleged experiences. You may want to know what you're getting yourself into. Not Number touching three, it! Dark Echo. Do you want to know what it's like to be living a blind nightmare? Dark Echo will show you. The app delves into the darkness of your imagination, using audio to disturb your thoughts. The horror app enables players to make noises oh! near their footsteps. Footsteps show users the creatures I've seen that game before. Ah, oh, I should have known. Lurking nearby. 
while also allowing those creatures to see the player. The app's description reads, Trapped in darkness, you must use visualized sound to guide your way through threatening environments, and the sounds you create will bounce off obstacles, revealing the shape of the surrounding world. It won't be long before your yeah. own way of sensing the world attracts a horrifying evil that devours both sound and souls. There are 80 levels which users must survive. The game's foreboding soundscape means it's best played with headphones. It's also not recommended for the blind. Though users start out as the lurkers, soon they are racing away from horrifying creatures, heart pounding, adrenaline pumping, pants wetting. This is a frightening game you might want to consider not downloading if you're faint of heart. Number 2. I Scare. If you want to give someone why does that, to me, reminding me of the Scary Maze game? If you guys don't know what that is, the website where you move your mouse cursor and you're trying to not hit the, the black things, and you're just making it into the goal. And there's three levels, but in the last level, when you're close to the red line, it looks like, if you get close to the goal, um, a scary face will pop up and will scream, scream at your face. And it's, it's just horrible. When nightmares then this is the app for you. iScare has a threat directly in the name. It's determined to scare players, and it does. The game masquerades as your average everyday puzzle game, but just when you think you're safe, something horrifying pops up to scare you to your wits. There are plenty of videos that's, even game- That's the exact face I was talking about a few seconds ago. That is the Scary Maze Games face. It's in this vein that used to be very popular in years past, but this ad takes the fear factor a step further. It capitalizes on the user's fear, drawing them into the game until they're concentrating so closely on finding the right piece that they're completely caught unaware and shocked to the core. Parents in the iTunes store are now warning others that the app is a no bono. One parent wrote that the app was not a game, Warning others that my seven year old thought he was getting a puzzle game and now he is terrified to go to sleep. While I completely admit, as a parent, I should have read the fine print, I still believe it's important to say the advertising for this game does not accurately portray what you are getting. The parent goes on to say that Eye Scare looks just like every other picture matching puzzle game and pops up in that genre. So apart from the name of the game, how are users to know what they're in for? She also claims that the warning label on the game is lacking, instead of actually warning parents that this game may give children night terrors. It goads players into testing their fear, calling those who don't dare to buy the game wimps. Unless you're willfully looking to scare yourself, this is one app you shouldn't download. Stock app. I don't stalk, I investigate, says this app, but any app that allows users to prowl unknowing victims is as scary as they come. Most stalkers want to be incognito, and the stalk app allows you to do just that. Even its name, emphasizing talk, makes it seem like it just might be an app that allows you to talk to your friends and family, and that's what they market it as. You can do that if you want, but if you also want to find people nearby to stalk, then you can. The app's description what reads, kind of not just for friends, message people that are close to you and start chatting and texting with new friends. So if you want to start chatting with people that have no idea who you are and why you're texting them, this is the app for you. Thanks for checking out this video. Holy moly, guys. That was actually quite interesting. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, even if you did, kiss that like button, you can subscribe, become an Emeralds member, and I will see you all next time.